hey guys today I'm going to be doing a review slash overview on a product and I've known I've done a lot of those lately but I think it's quite important when you're buying a new product whether it's makeup or not to uh, read reviews or to watch uh, reviews of people telling you about a certain product so you know that you're investing in it and that you're not just wasting your money on any old product and today I'm going to be talking about a stippling brush it's from Spa Resource and you can get it at only at Walmart I think Spa Resource is a Canadian brand I'm not quite sure but you can find it at Walmart and I've been looking for a stippling brush for a very long time and um, a lot of them from the high end the only places you can find stippling brushes are at high end brushes such as MAC, Sigma or uh, stuff from Sephora and a lot of those are really really pricey or at least $30 for one brush and I wasn't willing to pay up that much for the brush and a lot of lower end brushes don't have stippling brushes so I went to Walmart I came across it that's why I got it I did touch it the tips of the brush before I bought, bought it to make sure that it was soft and whatnot and this is what the brush looks like and it says stipple brush right here it looks really professional I really like it and what it is for is for any um, it can be used for liquid foundation as well as you can use it for powder blush uh, contouring um, bronzer any sort of things like that and the top part which is synthetic which is for the liquid foundation so it's really good and um, it is quite big so on me I only use it for liquid foundation and what I do is I get a product like a liquid foundation like this and I just flip it over and then I open it and then there will be a lot of product left on the cap and I just dip a tiny bit on the cap and then um, stipple it on my face and then blend it out and the little goes a long way because if you do too much you can end up having a, a coverage a cakey uh, heavy coverage like you would do a flat kabuki and then you would it would defeat the purpose of the stippling brush the, the airbrush feeling and I really like um, using a stippling brush for foundation because it does give you that flawless airbrush feeling that I have to try I've been looking for but the only thing about this brush it is sheds a lot I heard you're supposed to wash the brush before you use it but I didn't I used it for a week before I washed it and it shed like crazy like more than usual and it just when it goes on my face I just take it off my face it does bug me kind of but uh, it is quite soft the top part the synthetic part the bottom part I can feel it it's not soft at all so I'm glad this is a dual fiber brush because if it was only the bottom part I probably wouldn't have bought the brush if it was just a regular brush so I haven't tried any of the other brushes so I can't speak for them but I can only speak for this one yeah and I really like it and I really recommend you getting it and it's only eight dollars so if you're one of those people trying to look for a stippling brush like me and you can't find one Walmart is a good place to look for it's called spa resource we can get it it's called a stipple brush and it's only eight dollars something and it's really worth it and you can try it out and it gives you such flawless face such flawless coverage you wouldn't know how to, how to live without it so this is the brush hopefully this review really helps you if you have tried any stippling brush even if you've tried it from a high-end product or if you have any other low-end brush that has a stippling brush please let me know let other people know comment below and i thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next video bye for now